Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to uh, your morning watch list. We're going to break you down a couple of the penny stocks everybody's watching today. To be completely honest, uh, these are penny stocks we would have liked to be short on today. Uh, what we'll also do is take a look at some of the major indexes as they keep sliding down and nearing some of those price targets that we had previously mentioned to you guys in just videos from the other day. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as we do this pretty much every single morning. All right. So we're going to go ahead, take a look at one of the uh, main candidates today that a lot of people are looking at in the penny stock world. That is M-G-E-N. So this is a stock that I was mentioning to many traders to be actively short on today with targets. First targets being around 110 to 113. So the short traders have essentially just met their first price target on the day. If we look at the news on the stock, there isn't really a whole lot of news. Or actually, no, excuse me, it was the other one. There wasn't a whole lot of news. <clears throat> so this had a little bit of news come out today, something regarding COVID-19, yada, 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 vaccine. And so stock has been jumping up pretty good, uh, but I don't really think we're gonna see this continue to run. Uh, if we look back at the chart, you're going to see that we've already jumped up. We've ran into our resistance points around 147. And the last time the stock had ran, it ran all the way up to, say, $1.85 on uh, 30 million shares of volume. So, so far today, we've already traded 23 million shares of volume, mainly buying volume so far. But this tells us, based on this past move with all the traders that got involved, which was, say, you know, 30 million shares of volume traded, there could be a lot of bag holders that are going to hold this stock down, which prevents it for to keep it from running today. So we'll keep watching this. Um, right now, the only thing that I could say I might like to do is a bounce play down at about 85 cents for right now. As the day progresses and pre-market comes to an end and we get closer to market open, this trend line will probably be somewhere around 90 cents to maybe even a dollar. And at that point is really the only spot that I'd be really willing to take on a long play after we had the big move up and now we're into the short move. All right, let's move forward on to the next one, which is SCKT. A lot of traders were watching this one. Now, <clears throat> this guy has a little bit of news this morning that Socket Mobile um, contractless reader achieves Apple wallet compatibility. So this is a stock that we'll probably watch more closely for continued long moves. A couple reasons why we have some news here. It's not necessarily COVID-19 related. Anything COVID is pretty much old news. You know, back in the beginning uh, or back of like January, uh, beginning of this year, uh, COVID-19 was big, right? Everyone uh, was talking about it. It was a hot thing in the market. Now COVID-19, it's really, everybody already knows about it. So it's really not hot news. So today we have a penny stock that's moving on something completely different than COVID-19 news. And they have Apple, right? A mega bajillion trillion dollar company in their news piece or in the headlines of this penny stock. So this is something that we would put um, a little bit more uh, strength on, as in we would watch this closer for more long bias movement because it's not COVID-19 related anymore and because it has something to do with Apple and it's talking about wallet compatibility. So Apple, big company, wallet compatibility. There's a lot of online things talking about digital cryptocurrency. So as a whole, this news seems a little bit stronger today to probably follow for long bias movement. Let's take a look at the long-term chart. When we look at the long-term chart, we can see here that SCKT has before jumped up to prices of say 372 and it has jumped up the prices of 450 up here. And currently we jumped up as high as 430 today. Now, if we look at the volume though, the volume today is super insignificant in comparison to what it has been before. Before we were trading, you know, say here 63 million, here we traded 120 million. Today we are hardly trading anything, right? No volume today, which does make me slightly nervous in comparison to what we've been trading. The only thing I do like about it is the chart setup. Right. If we look at this chart setup, let me check the daily chart. Yeah. If we look at the daily chart, these are the sorts of charts that can go 
more parabolic, right? Have way stronger moves because there isn't a whole lot of past action, right? If we look back, there's no trading volume over here. There's just trading volume here, trading volume here, and then that's it, right? Whereas if we were to go back and say, look at, um, let's look at this, like APTX. This, that's maybe not even the best example. I'm trying to find one off the top of my head, but maybe we'll just use MGEN, go back to this, right? If we look at MGEN, it's a little bit different, right? It had trading volume here, had some trading volume there, there. So there's been more active trading on this that's been holding the stock down. Whereas again, if you go look at that uh, SCKT, I mean, there hasn't been a whole lot of past trading action on the stock. So um, I would put a little bit more strength on SCKT today as a stock that you're going to want to follow for volume bias trading. And the volume's picking up right now and doing pretty well. Now what I want to do is move into our uh, S&P 500 ETF, give you guys the rundown here. So far, markets are continuing to look pretty bearish. Now, this is something that we mentioned just a couple days ago that the markets were coming down and they were in fact breaking down through support yesterday we basically said that the market had bounced back up to resistance and we're going to watch for it to fade back down so the markets have now faded back down and we don't have any sort of low risk support that we should be considering getting long on really until uh, the price point of say 328 right now. So until the market drops down to 328, we're probably not going to see a whole lot of people trying to base the market or support the market. That's the next price target. So if, so if we were bearish, which I'm not currently, okay, but if I were short bias, or wait, let me say, if I had a short position on the market, we would be looking to get down to about 328. 329 zone so as this bearish moves comes into the 328 to 329 anybody bearish or short will start to buy back into this 328 and anybody willing or wanting to potentially get long would start getting along at that price point or at least consider it to be the first price point where we should consider to get long so therefore we're just anticipating markets are probably going to move back down to say 328 329 here maybe even today and the 328 price exists within the intraday channel. So if we look at the blue to blue, the price point of 328, it exists within that channel. So that's very well, uh, it's capable. The market is capable of doing that move because it's not outside the blue. It's hard for the markets to go outside these blue lines. So the fact that our price target of 328 exists before the blue line on the downside tells us that that is a capable price target of reaching just today alone, all right? Now we could go take a look at the queues. The queues are still sliding. Um, arguably, they're, they're on a snap point. Well, they already broke it right there. So um, really next target down for this market is probably 265 to, um, yeah, 265. Right now we're just kind of sliding sideways, sliding sideways. We're, we're on trend support right now. So unless the market magically holds this level here, we don't really have any trending support back down until 265. And if you look left, 265 lines up really close. I, maybe I can extend this left. So if we extend it left, right that 265 price we put on from our trend line and say this one down here at 262, and then we extend it left, those all, those both exist right at the previous bounce point. So we're pretty much just the same. Markets are probably targeting back down to our one deviation to half standard deviation system, which therefore lines up in our past or previous uh, support bounce from maybe about a month, month and a half back, okay? Now, something special that happened yesterday was SRRK. SRRK went through some just crazy movement all day long, had a really fantastic move up. This is another stock that we're going to be watching today pretty closely for both long bias trading and short bias trading. The stock is easy to borrow, so we're going to be actively going long and maybe actively going short on this stock alone. Um, nothing too much more to, to tell you other than the fact if you look at this move from yesterday, really big move. We're over the blue line okay, on the daily chart. And we are over the blue line here on the four hour chart, which tells us that this market is a little bit overextended for the time being. And we're probably just going to watch a little bit uh, uh, short bias today. Okay. 
Something else that may be good that just started moving is this AUVI just kind of started jumping out of nowhere. If I'm lucky, I can short it. Wow, I can short it. This is going to be awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to end the video there so I can pay close attention to the stock. That being said, everybody have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.